Hi, I'm Brian, and this is Walking and Talking Spirituality. Thanks for taking a walk with me. And I want to continue to talk about the challenge of burnout, dissatisfaction that I see in way too many pastors and spiritual leaders. It's been incredibly difficult these last couple of years. And then for many of my friends, that's been exacerbated by tensions within denominations and the fact that in many contexts, we're just not seeing a person's come back to our local communities of faith, at least in person. And this, to me, this is an identity issue because the only way to not be burned out in our work is to stay rooted. You know, in the scriptures, Jesus said, I'm the vine and you know, we're the branches, right? But we forget that. It's so easy. And we think we do ministry out of our own strength. And again, I know in our heads, if you have good theology, you know, that's not true. And you can give me verses and all those kind of things. But again, I know way too many folks, myself included in the past. Yeah, we had the right theology, but the way that we live said different things. And so one of the key things to know about identity is when we're serving out of an identity as persons loved by God unconditionally. We know that. We can separate our intent from the results that we might get from any particular piece of ministry. You know, so for example, we all know that you could have done the perfect sermon preparation, but that doesn't mean you're going to have the outcome that you imagined, right? You have the perfect sermon, but somebody decides they didn't like it because they were having a bad day. But they say something to us and that ruins the sermon for us or, you know, baby cries and kind of messes up the delivery. There's all kinds of things that are out of our control. So just notice real acutely, when you're serving, are you out of that identity where you understand that my intent is to love God and love my neighbor as myself. That that's the intent. That's where we're getting our strength out of. And you can separate the fact that sometimes things go absolutely fantastic. The Spirit shows up. You can do the exact same message at another place and nothing happens, right? Bob Tuttle always says, and I've said this before on these videos, show up, pay attention. God's got way more invested in our ministry than we do. Tuttle said that from being in a place where his identity was a person loved by God. And I've heard Tuttle talk about what he's had God say to him, Bob, I'm just crazy about you. Do you know that God's crazy about you? When I think about deep dive spirituality, all ministry flows out of knowing that God loves us unconditionally. Then we can separate our intent to be faithful to our mission from the results or the lack thereof that sometimes happen during seasons of, of drought and pestilence and all the other types of things that we want to use biblical language. I can help you if you want to, if you have any questions, if you want to talk this through, if you want to work on your identity, work on a spiritual plan to help you build deep roots in Christ. Let me know. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Until next time, live by faith, be known by love, and be a voice of hope.